welcome to Money Moves, where we put the focus on alternative assets, places investors are putting their money outside of the traditional stock and bond markets. We reach out, we speak with experts in hedge funds, private equity, venture cap, angel investing, real estate metals, much, much more about where they see opportunities. We have a great show for you today, finding value in this tech market. There are a number of growth capital oriented funds out there with capacity, Andreessen Horowitz, IVP, General Atlantic, just to name a few. Prices for businesses are increasing. We're going to be speaking with Devin Parekh from Insight Ventures about his plan for finding the best deals for his firm's $5 billion. Later on, the Falcon Rack Risk Report, we are looking at whether or not a newly published study on avian influenza could be a how-to manual for bioterrorists and what governments are doing to protect citizens from that killer disease. In the meantime, stocks right now lower across the board, lower in fact for the third straight day. You have new headlines coming from Europe. Spain making a formal request for bailout funds. Cyprus requesting aid from ESFS, ESM to contain economic risks. The German Chancellor Angela Merkel against doing the one thing that at least one big voice, billionaire investor George Soros, says will work, and that is creating euro bonds. Well, Soros spoke with us in an exclusive interview to our colleague in London, Francine Lacroix. They spent nearly an hour talking about the European debt crisis. He told her that this Thursday summit in Brussels is do or die time for the current currency. There's a disagreement on the fiscal side. And unless that is resolved in the next three days, then I'm afraid the, the, the uh, uh, summit uh, could turn out uh, to be a fiasco. And that could be actually uh, fatal. Soros urged the Eurozone to start a new fund to buy Italian and Spanish bonds that paid for by issuing so called Euro bonds. German Chancellor Angela Merkel has already ruled that out. Soros has some tough words for how Merkel is doing her job. There's a disagreement on the fiscal side. And unless that is resolved in the next three days, then I'm afraid the, the, the uh, uh, summit uh, could turn out uh, to be a fiasco. And that could be actually uh, fatal. Soros went on to say that Germany's stance on euro bonds and its insistence that Greece follow through on its austerity plans could force Greece out of the euro. With a little bit more now on Europe, we're going to bring in our economics editor, Michael McKee. He's just back from Europe. Michael, you spent last week in Athens. You were also in Madrid. What are your takeaways from being on the ground there? Uh, George Soros is going to be very disappointed. It's just not going to happen. What they need to do is not what they're able to do. The things he's talking about are going to take a very long period of time. They're medium term, they're long term solutions. Investors want to know what's the short term that's going to get us to the medium term. And it doesn't look like the Europeans have anything planned to address those questions. All right. Well, speaking of addressing those questions, there's a two day summit that starts on Thursday in Brussels. Is this summit going to accomplish somehow what some of these other meetings between the same leaders have not? No, it's not. It's the 19th summit meeting that they've had since the beginning of the crisis and it's going to end like all the others with a statement saying we've made incremental progress on these things. We're getting there, but it's important for Greece to stick to its, uh, its austerity They're program. They're going to keep talking their book. It doesn't look like there's any grounds at this point, especially with what Merkel is saying today, for any kind of a breakthrough, anything that's going to satisfy the markets that the danger of Greece defaulting and Spain's banks going belly up has changed. So I'm glad you mentioned Spain's banks because we just heard the formal request from Spain today, hey, we need some help, and Cyprus now weighing in saying, hey, we need some help. So more and more people are, more and more countries, I should say, are officially coming to the table asking for money. And what it's showing is that everything is interconnected. The reason Cyprus is in trouble is one of its biggest banks, owned by a Greek bank, 
is woefully short of capital. They tried to raise money by borrowing it from Russia, by borrowing it from China, couldn't do it. So now they've become the fifth country looking for a bailout. Spain's banks have a deep hole. Nobody knows how much yet. And that's the interesting thing about today's request. They didn't ask for a specific amount and they didn't say where it would come from or what the terms would be. They just say, we need help. All of this still to be worked out. That can is still getting kicked down. Yeah, the well, it puts the ball in the leaders, the other leaders' court to try to come up with a solution. And it sounds like they're saying, we'll take money from pretty much anywhere. We just need it. They need it. They need it probably by the end of the summer. But at some point, somebody's going to have to make a decision and say, we've got to stop this. And they haven't been able to figure out how. Michael McKee, thanks very much. Welcome home, by the way. Our economics editor.